This is He Knows His Sport, bringing you that heat and that fire. All right, y'all. Listen, man, let me make it very clear about Terrence Buck Crawford. This man is not going to no damn 160. You guys have to do the math here. This is why I say, ruff, ruff, ruff. he's a chihuahua behind the fence that's barking. Let me say it again. Ruff, ruff, ruff. <laughs> a freaking chihuahua behind the fence barking. Y'all got to understand. Y'all got to see things out here, man. That's why I tell y'all, use what's called the true boxing eye test. How is this guy going to go to 160 when he hasn't supposedly boogeyman 147? Does that make any sense to you guys? And look how he purposefully omitted 154. Isn't 154 easier for him to make than 160? It's because he knows J-Rock is there. He knows Tony Harrison is there. He knows Jamel Charlo is there. He knows there's some big boys, some heavyweight hitters that's there. Some people that could really hurt his ass. Shit, even the punching bag, Jaime Munguia. Let me say it again. Even the human pinata, the punching bag, Jaime Munguia, will beat this man up, dog. This is what I'm trying to tell you guys from a boxing standpoint. Terrence Buck Crawford is a fighter that's extremely overrated. Because you have to look at his resume at 147. 140 and down? Okay. You can lay claim to, you know what I'm saying, his fame. Let me say it again. 140 and down, you can lay claim to his fame. But no one cares about Terrence Buck Crawford, man. And see, what he's doing, he's doing this. He's barking behind the fence like a freaking chihuahua clout chasing off of earl the true spence name because obviously there's envy and there's jealousy there let me say it again there's envy and there's jealousy there because why you keep mentioning earl the true spence name why are you sitting here saying oh pvc and earl the true spence didn't want to fight no that's not the truth the truth is you didn't know your truest and your most properest levels there's alphas and there's betas you're the freaking beta in this situation you and Bob Arum, as the betas that you were in the negotiation table, did not want to come immediately at 40%. Earl the True Spence would have made the fight if you guys would have came in at 40. You wouldn't even fucking do that. You talking about 50-50 fight. How is it a 50-50 fight? I mean, come on. You got to be a classic dude in a truck load guy. A Rudy Poo and a Plum Plum Brain. An ultra fanboy with the ultra fanboy rhetoric to not understand how you crippled yourself twice. One barking behind the fence, ruff, 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 like a freaking chihuahua, signing with top rank. And then secondly, sitting there and going, ruff, 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 barking behind the fence, talking about, look, I'm Terrence Buck Crawford, remember me. We're not going to remember you when you fight a lame duck Jeff Horn, a one-legged Jose Benavidez, a five-year past his prime Amir Khan. And now he's fighting who? The green mean machine. Let me say it again. The green mean machine. And that's his later claim at 147. Come on. Y'all got to see the smoke in the mirrors behind this, man. Terrence Buck Crawford is like the Los Angeles Lakers. A smoke and mirrors. Boxing. Superstar. That's what he is. He got skills to pay the bills. He can box. But he's not everything people think that he is, man. And I know if he fights a real fighter like Earl the True Spence, he's going to get touched up, he's going to get punished, and he's damn near going to get stopped. Let me say it again. He's going to get touched up, he's going to get punished, and he's damn near going to get stopped. If a one-legged Jose Benavidez, and I have to keep saying this because I have to come with cold-hearted, unadulterated, and cutthroat truth, and in truth-telling fashion because I'm the ultimate truth-teller, if that one-legged gimp could touch up Terrence Bo Crawford the way that he did, I know Earl the True Smith's gonna stop him. That's why he's telling Tank Davis, hey man, Gamboa, man, you gotta watch out for Gamboa. He got power, man. He got power. Because Gamboa made his legs turn straight, dog. I'm telling you. Since that fight, he has not fought any credible opponents. Top rank has put him in with opponents that he is completely better than. He is head and shoulders above because they didn't want Terrence Buck Crawford to get exposed, man. This is the facts. So when he knows his sport comes in cold-hearted, unadulterated, cutthroat, truth-telling fashion, like a turkey, gobble that thing up, man. I'm telling you guys, man. Terrence Buck Crawford ain't going to no damn 160. That's a pipe dream. What he just did is what's called lazy-ass top rank promotion. Let me say it again. Lazy-ass top rank promotion to make you watch the fight with Green Mean Machine. It's really that simple, folks. I keep the foot on the what? On the next. I keep the foot on the what? On the next. This is He Knows the Sport, checking out.